This week on the Heyman Hustle, a world exclusive. The comeback of the original pop teen princess, Deborah Gibson. Remember her? Long before Britney Spears, there was Deborah Gibson with the jean jacket and Only In My Dreams and the number one song and that feud with Tiffany. The 80s come back this week on the Heyman Hustle. The Heyman Hustle. Nineteen eighty seven you came out with Out of the Blue. It was at the, it was number one. You were the youngest performer, writer, and producer to ever have a number one hit. It's a record that stands to this day. I know, it's crazy. Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, and, and this is as a teen star. You got your together. Well, I, I fought really hard. And, you know, music, I mean, A, it's a boys club. It always has been. I mean, it's changed a lot now. But I think I was, like, the first female to win the ASCAP Songwriter of the Year Award, which, again, to me is crazy, you know? So as a 16-year-old female, to, to fight that hard to be able to produce and arrange a lot of my own stuff and to do my original material was a pretty big uphill battle. When I did set that record, it was like a big I told you so to a lot of people because, you know, success is the best revenge. And a lot of people just thought, there's someone bigger and better to do this for you. And I was like, it's not brain surgery. Nobody's gonna die on the operating table if I get this wrong. It's just music. <laughs> people still bother you about the 80s? Uh, I don't think of it as a bother. The 80s were good to me. <laughs> so, I mean, so if you, someone comes up to you in office and says, like, hey, where's your jean jacket? That never bothered you. Or they call you Debbie. That doesn't bother you. No, honestly. Well, the funny thing is, is Debbie was very much a stage name, and friends and family always call me Deborah. So none of that bothers me. Um, I get it. I get it. You know, I lived it. I understand the kitsch factor. Uh, I get my own jokes. I make up half my own jokes. Here's the question. I mean, you've defied the odds. I mean, you look at all the child stars. You look, you look, at, you look at any pop teen princess, and that's what you were. You were a pop teen princess, and yet you're not a train wreck. You know, there's no stories of you falling down drunk at nightclub because I've gone to nightclubs looking for you, and you were never there. Um, so, I've never been drunk in my life, actually, <laughs> which people go, what? I think that the people that are really, really serious about their craft, you don't, you don't see them making headlines for scandal, and there's a reason. It's like, even Christina Aguilera, like, you cannot keep that voice in shape and go clubbing. You just can't. So, um, I come from that school of thought because I come from the theater world where you have to have a work ethic. Drinking and partying and clubbing, and all, it doesn't really go with that unless you're going to do the lip synky thing, which go clubbing all night, knock yourself out, and they do. <laughs> Which is more to you, creatively and spiritually orgasmic, the performance itself or producing and the behind the scenes and making sure that the lights are the right way and the, and the sound cues are the right way and all the, you know, the clarinet doesn't outdo the flute? Anymore. I mean, I love rehearsal because I, I am in tune with, yes, I want, I don't want the keyboard to step on the flute there and, it'll, and, and I love helping to put that together but there's nothing like it all coming together in front of an audience. I mean, that's the moment I live for. Do people like woke up to you and go, ah, only in my dreams, go, oh yeah, you're the one, right? Yeah, they do. They, uh, they, they start doing the like jukebox of the greatest hits, but again, it's nice to have greatest hits for people to do that with. I really just always wanted to stand next to you and sing, try to sing you that. You do that. You yeah. just had that in mind all morning. Well, you know, you know, long, you know, you know the thing. Long before, the, you know, long before there was, there was Britney Spears or Deborah Gibson. Long before there was Viagra for me, there was Deborah Gibson. But hey, I was a teenager too. But, but, but way, way too much information. Hey, I'm Deborah Gibson. What's your hustle?